Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess from Planner Flotsam and today I'm going to talk about the Passion Planner Daily that was just announced. Uh, let's see, the day that I'm filming it, it was announced yesterday. I'm not sure when I'll get this up, but I'll try to do it pretty quick. Um, I was lucky enough to be in a focus group that got to uh, just help them try out the spreads and I want to show you how I've been using it for the last couple of months. First, let me remind you that I use two planners every day. This is my pretty decorated fancy planner that I use in conjunction with this one, which is the small size and it's undated. So I've got important dates and things. And what I've been doing since I started helping out with the daily is just cutting it out and gluing it in when I needed it. So here's an example of one that was pretty filled up. Um, it's gonna be undated, which I find really convenient because as you can see, there are some days where I didn't need it quite as much, and then other days when I needed it a ton. Um, one way that I use the space of infinite possibilities, which is now a full page, and this is the size that the daily is gonna come in. Um, I love having a place for a grocery list, uh, for different places that I need to go to. It's a really nice way to break down my day when I'm very busy. This is a nice little place to reflect. Apparently, I didn't even shower for self-maintenance, so that was not a great day for me. Um, these sections are labeled, uh, as you can see. Oh, I already crossed that one out. Um, but they're labeled Game Changer Project Work and Personal, or I don't know if they're vice versa, but what I've been doing is just kind of widening them out and putting the things I need to focus on because I'm a stay-at-home mom, so I don't always have a specific work personal thing. It's all kind of blended together. So you can see what I did today is I crossed out personal and put household and work and put planner because there was stuff I wanted to get done planner related. Um... For the most part, I've been keeping these pretty minimal. These I just put on so I remember what pages. Um, I've been keeping it pretty minimal. This one, I actually did some color coding. Um, here you can see I didn't use it a ton, but I had some very important things that I had to get done, and so it was nice to be able to take notes over here. And I added a splash of washi tape. Um, again, this is just another example of a page. I didn't use the entire thing, but I used, I feel like enough of it. This was really nice. This was a day when I needed to pack. And so there was stuff I needed to buy for our trip, stuff I needed to put up front with us and then stuff that was just going to be packed. And so it was really nice to just have a space to lay all of that out. Um, you can see this is like my version of Franken planning. I just, I love the bound. I'm a bound planner person. And so, um, I figured using this undated one to kind of try it out was a good idea, but it's like, it's so rough because I've just been cutting it out. So yeah, what I've been doing, um, and I'm sure the PDF will be available any minute now, if not already, um, I've just been cutting it out and glue sticking it down. And anytime I try to cut out more than one, it makes it really uneven. So... I'm just doing it one at a time. I, you can see I use a weekly spread just to write out all my appointments. And then on a need to day to day basis, depending on if I need the full space, um, I'll print out the PDF and have it. Like today I've got quite a bit that I need to do. There's a lot of running around and things. So I like having the extra space and for self maintenance, I already wrote in yoga. So I have to do it now. That's the rule. Just make it an ASMR video. Doo -doo. Okay. So now that I've got it cut out and there are a lot of different ways to do this. Um, I saw some people bind it, you know, like print out a bunch and bind them. Um, and obviously this is going to be available on Kickstarter really soon. So I'm not necessarily suggesting you use a planner um, in this way, but I was very excited. I've been using a, another planner that was a daily planner, but it was dated and I just don't have a full two pages worth of stuff to do every day. Um, especially like on the weekends, I don't need that much space. And so it's been really nice 
that it's undated so that I can use it on the days that I need to, but I don't have to feel guilty about skipping pages, which was what was happening with a former daily planner that I was using. Um, I used it for a while, but then I got unbusy and then, yeah. So there you can see my expert job. Um, I have been keeping these really minimal and mostly just using kind of pen and maybe a little washi, but I just got these stickers out, so I am gonna put a few of these down. Planner time. These are from the Chelsea Brown Designs and Dolce Planner subscription box. I'll just put this here. Um, there are a bunch of different sections in this planner. It really kind of fleshes out. So one thing I love about the Passion Planner is that there's plenty of space for things such as work to-do lists, personal to-do lists, and then you have your daily sections. Um, but there's a lot of times when I need to use the space in the back pages or I've just got a huge list of stuff that I need to do. And then um, as you can see, I like to use my space of infinite possibility to do artistic stuff. And so it's nice to have this entire space to put whatever I need. Um, you can see there's the timeline, which they made go from five till 11. So there, there's even more hours in the day, which is nice. Um, and I really like that it's got the Game Changer project. I, real talk here. Anyway, yeah, so it was really nice to have that specific Game Changer project space to remind myself of what I was actually focusing on. Um, the today's focus is nice and big, which I like, and it easily translates from the weekly spread to this, and then you can fill in the date, put the day of the week, things like that. There's also this section at the bottom, which I haven't been using as much as I hope to, um, but I like that it's got the best thing that happened, today I learned, today in one word, and then a little mood tracker. Um, and then the personal growth space, I've been using for a variety of things when I use it. Um, like video ideas, things I needed to pack in the morning on that, uh, I was doing a teaching position thing and I needed to pack stuff. So it was nice to have that. Um, anyway, if you have any questions about how I've been using the Passion Planner daily, please let me know. I would love to answer them in the comments. Um, I think it should be pretty exciting. They're going to be selling them in packs of four for a discount and I think that there's going to be some early bird special things on the Kickstarter so stay tuned for all of that but yeah if you have any questions let me know be sure and like this video if you found it helpful um, and happy planning